Hey guys, this is ATL Sprinters. I'll be showing you guys the guidelines on how to operate the Sprinter. All right, as you guys should know, this vehicle only takes diesel. Do not put gas in it, diesel only. All right, so the gas tank is literally right here on the side of the door. You have to open the door first to, to access the gas tank. But um, this is it, it says only diesel. So guys, don't forget that. All right, as we get in, first thing really to do is to crank up the sprinter. So what we like to do is start it up gradually. Yeah. Okay, so to start the sprinter, we have to put the key in the ignition. Okay, like so. And first thing is to do the first turn. Some lights come on, but not all the lights, okay? Because it's not completely on. Then the second turn. All the lights on the dashboard come on. You see the check engine lights, app sensor lights, all of that come on just to be sure that the vehicle will start properly. Like so. All right, so over here we have the partition button. Um, in order to open, you push the button down. Okay, so to turn on the interior lights, we flip this switch. As long as the switch is pointed upwards, the radio is on and now the TV is on. And then over here we have the color wheel where you can change the color of the lights in the back, which is really nice. So if you guys will look right now, I have it on pink. Look at that. And now I put it on for blue and green. To unlock the doors of the vehicle, you have to push this button. This unlocks the front doors. Lock and unlock. And this is for the back doors as well. So if you push it once, it unlocks the side doors. And if you push it twice, it unlocks the back, back door. Now I'm gonna take you inside the vehicle. Right, you gotta listen away so you open the door, okay? <laughs> All right, right here we have the lounge area for the passengers. All seats are nicely stitched, leather interior. Okay. Um, this buttons right here are for the ceiling lights. Look at that. You can turn the lights at the bottom on. So this middle button turned on the lights at the bottom. I don't know if you can see them right there. And then this first button turned on the ceiling lights. So it just makes it look brighter. And then this is the post light. On the top over here is the temperature adjuster, so you can turn it off and on, whether you want heat or AC, and you can adjust the temperature how high or low you want it over here, yeah? And then on this screen right here, we have the Bluetooth device. So this is where you will turn on or off to connect to your phone to the Bluetooth. That way you can connect your phone and play music on the speakers. Last but not least, if you guys wanted to charge your phones or laptops up, there's outlets on each side of the chairs. Yep. 